volcano news concerning supervolcanic eruptions powered by magma conveyor belt. This is what scientists reveal. Volcanic region confirmed as the world's most continuously active chain is now known to be constantly fed by a conveyor belt of magma. This is what geologists have revealed. It's a conveyor belt underneath this supervolcano. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily. And they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Supervolcanoes are categorized as volcanoes that are so immense and so massive that they can erupt with a volcanic explosivity index of 8 or above. There are about 20 plus volcanoes worldwide. The largest recorded value on the index is Volcanic Explosivity Index of 8, VEI 8. This means the volume of deposits for such a violent eruption are larger than 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles. The international team led by Curtis University researchers identified an area in the Indian Ocean as the world's most continuously active interlinked volcanoes, they've been erupting for 30 million years straight. This magma conveyor belt has been fueled by constantly shifting seabed, creating space for the molten rock to spew for millions of years. The Curtis School of Earth and Planetary Science PhD candidate Kuang Jiang and the study lead author confirmed the volcanoes were in the Kargulian Plateau, it's located about 1,860 miles or 3,000 uh, 3, kilometers southwest of Western Australia in, in the Indian Ocean. He says, extremely large accumulations of volcanic rocks, known as large volcanic provinces, are very interesting to scientists because of their links with mass extinction events and rapid climate disturbances and ore deposit formations. The Kyrgyzian Plateau is gigantic. It's almost the size of Western Australia. Now images in this area of land covered by lava, several kilometers thick, erupted, erupting at a rate of about 20 centimeters every year. 20 centimeters of lava a year may not sound like much, but over an area of the size of Western Australia, that's equivalent to filling up 184,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools to the brim with lava every single year. Over a total eruptive duration, that's equivalent to 5.5 trillion lava-filled swimming pools. He says the volume of activity continued for 30 million years. This was going on for 30 million years, making the Kyrgyzian Plateau home to the longest continuous eruption erupting supervolcanoes on Earth. The eruption rate then dropped drastically some 90 million years ago for reasons that are not yet fully understood. From then on, there was a slow but steady outpouring of lava that continued right to this day, including the 2016 eruptions associated with the Big Bend volcano on Heard Island, Australia's only active volcano. The volcanologist's colleague and co-researcher Dr. Hugo Oleruk added, such long-lasting eruptions require very particular geological conditions. He said after the partial breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana into the pieces we now know as Australia, India, and Antarctica, the Kerguelen Plateau began forming on top of a mushroom-shaped mantle upwelling. It's called a mantle plume, as well as along deep sea mid-oceanic ridge mantle ridges. The volcanism lasts for so long because magmas caused by the mantle plume were continuously flowing out through the mid-oceanic ridges. Now we have mid-oceanic ridges as well in the Atlantic, and we know that it's from the north to the south, north pole to south pole. One of the hot spots there is Iceland. Another is the Azores Islands, they're all volcanic islands. So uh, it's also opening there, that's where the earth is ex expanding. 
Now, the volcanism, they say here in the area of the, the Indian Ocean, lasted for so long because magmas caused by the mantle plume were continuously flowing out through the mid-oceanic ridges, which successively acted as a channel or magma conveyor belt for more than 30 million years. Other volcanoes would stop erupting because when temperatures cooled, the channels became clogged with frozen magma. For the Kerguelen Plateau, the mantle plume acts as a Bunsen burner that kept allowing the, melt, the mantle to melt, resulting in an extraordinary long period of eruption activity. Professor Fred Jordan, Curtis Director of Western Australia Argon Isotope Facility, revealed the cutting-edge argon, argon dating technique was used to date the lava flows. He said finding this long continuous eruption activity is important because it helps us to understand what factors can control the start and end of volcanic activity. This has implications for how we understand magnetism on Earth and on other planets as well, he said. This is on uh, Express UK by Tom Fish. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.